Without doubt, a business plan is one of the most important tools that any entrepreneur must have in their business arsenal. Now, there are so many reasons why entrepreneurs uh, generate uh, business plans. Now, in this video, we're going to look at quite a number of those reasons why there is a need for you to have a business plan. Now, you'll find that in most cases, uh, the reasons are usually monetary reasons where you probably you're looking for funding or something like that. But if you are someone who is into business consulting or are thinking of going into consul consulting for businesses that want to make business plans, or alternatively, you are a new entrepreneur, small, medium, even micro enterprise that wants a business plan or that do not know that they need a business plan, this video is for you. This is Results Oriented Preparation. Thank you for tuning in. Please like the video, subscribe, as well as share it with some of your entrepreneurial friends. And let's get uh, this discussion going on on this channel. All right, let's jump in. Now, we're looking at the reasons why you need a business plan. Now, the primary reason, as we've stated before, is that uh, most entrepreneurs need business plans to get funding. If you want to access funding, it could be from an investor, it could be from a financial institution. What they require is a business plan that shows precisely the viability of your business idea. In that plan, you will have a strategic a overview, a strategic plan showing exactly how you intend to take the plan and implement it and bring forth uh, the expected results. Now, in the expectation, they, uh, you are expected to come up with a, a very sound cash flow projection. That is why and then the cash flow projection is significant to ensure that uh, and other people, third parties, it could be uh, shareholders, it could be prospective investors, believe in what you are selling to them. So then this is the primary reason why people need a business plan. However, we have seen that as the as SME industry or sector is growing, uh, people are getting to know some other reasons besides seeking funding that require you to have a business plan. The next reason is called the business life cycle support. Now, every business goes through a life cycle from inception into growth. So you find that the majority of small, medium enterprises are usually or are somewhere within either in the startup or in the growth phase of this life cycle. Now, it is also important to note that in the first five years, the statistics are that 70% of those businesses fail. So there's a 70% failure rate for businesses in the first five years from the date of inception. So since a lot of them are caught up between startup and growth, then there is something that needs to happen to make sure that the business then can proceed to other levels or other stages in that life cycle. Now, therefore, you need a very sound business plan where you articulate clearly the strategies that must be implemented to navigate the challenges that you find in these phases or in the first five years so that you come out of them successful and then you don't become a statistic. You now become part of that 30% or maybe the figures will change as more and more people become successful after the first five years. So you need a sound business plan that has got a very clear strategy on how to navigate the business through the challenges that are faced in the startup and the growth stages of the life cycle. The third reason is a market research and strategic planning. While a simple business plan may suffice for a, maybe micro enterprises which need approximately maybe a million rand or below in terms of funding. More established uh, businesses or small to medium enterprises will require a more sound business plan. Now, in this sound business plan, what is required is a very definite and clear 
a market research. So market research becomes part of the business plan. Now in this, you are showcasing exactly how you are going to get insights from the market. Now, an entrepreneur who does not have a continuous supply of information from the market will face problems because you won't know exactly how to adapt to the changes, for example, in customer preferences, customer taste, and things like that, in fashions, in fades. As you go through the evolution of the markets, uh, things will change. Your customers will prefer uh, different things or other alternatives will come. So competition becomes very rife. So you need to find out exactly what is happening in the market. To do that, you need market research. Market research plans can be clearly stated in your business plan. So a business plan can be that tool or that vehicle that tells anyone, any stakeholder looking through it, what your intention is in terms of generating the right kind of insights. Now remember, a business plan can also be used internally in an organization, which means that all the stakeholders, it could be employees, it could be managers, whoever is working within that uh, particular organization knows exactly what the strategy is in terms of generating the right kind of information from the market, a uh, data that is needed to make decisions. So market research becomes a critical thing. Now, this market research will then be what feeds into your strategic planning. Now, your strategy will now tell us exactly how you intend to achieve the goals that you have set out. In most cases, we're looking at audacious goals. And if the goals are as audacious as we think or as they must be, obviously, you need a very clear uh, strategy to ensure that you achieve what you have set out to achieve. The other reason is a uh, sector specific uh, plans. We know for sure that a lot of uh, businesses that are in the, for example, personal services or retail are businesses that have been so active in uh, seeking help with business plans or with generating their own business plans. Now, as things are evolving, the demand for business plans is increasing, especially now that we have moved into a, a tech a propelled a sort of era. You even take best industries or sectors or businesses that are basing their day to day operations or activities on tech are also a wanting or are also really looking at establishing clear business plans. So you find that the demand, therefore, is now going across different sectors. Therefore, the increase in the demand for business plans. Last but not least is government support initiatives. The South African government has got a lot of initiatives to support small, medium, and micro enterprises. Now, the reasons for this is that a small, medium, and micro enterprises are key to economic objectives of the country. One of those economic objectives include reduction in unemployment rates. Now, South Africa is one of those countries that have the highest youth unemployment. So having a lot of uh, uh, youth-based uh, uh, formation of businesses uh, is key to make sure that government alleviates some of these economic problems. So to do that, the government has got support initiatives to support SMEs, all right? So then we have seen the demand for a business plan increasing because the government obviously will deal with someone that has got a very sound uh, strategy on how they want to turn their idea into a viable business. And then to do so, you will need a business plan that is convincing to anyone who looks into it. So therefore, because of these support initiatives by the government, we have seen a lot of young people demanding uh, business plans, a lot of entrepreneurs wanting the government support, uh, creating their own business plans, and also going into the market and looking for people to create business plans for them. However, these are not the only reasons uh, for the increase in demand for business plans. 
If there are other uh, uh, reasons out there that you know of, please do share this on the channel. Just leave a, a comment down below and then we'll greatly appreciate your engagement on this particular topic. Also, remember that we still have got this tool here. Uh, this guide is a free guide, how to create a business plan. I'm still offering this for the uh, last month. If you do not have the download yet, please go straight away and get yourself a free download on how to create a business plan. This will help you have a clear and better idea on what business planning is all about. It's in simple, clear language. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also share the video and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. This is Results Oriented Preparation. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.